Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 19 of my Madden NFL 19 playthrough. Here we are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, ready to take on the Eagles for the third time this season. We, of course, are in the divisional round of the playoffs and the Eagles are an absolutely terrifying team. I keep talking about it, but man, this team is 15-1. and one. They've won 15 straight games. They've beaten us twice already this season and now we have to take them on for the third time to hopefully be able to make it to the NFC Conference Championship game, which is going to be between whoever wins this game and whoever wins that game there between the Saints and the Falcons. I think the key to success here in this game is going to be whether or not our defense can keep this offense in check because... And the two games that we've played against them so far this season, they've won both times, but it was also very close. Like, we came close to winning, but of course we came up short. If our defense can hold them a bit this game, then I think we have a pretty good chance of winning, because our offense has really been on point over the course of the... Well, pretty much the entire latter half of the season, if I'm being entirely honest. But let's go ahead and start things off here today by running the football with Saquon Barkley. And as you guys can see, we have our old school 80s jerseys on. They have their old school jerseys on. I think it looks pretty freaking fantastic. I wanted to actually come out and throw for the very first play, but because we're in the shadow of our own end zone, I'm not going to risk it. We're going to go right to the ground game with Saquon Barkley getting 10 yards on his first carry. What is going on there? Am I crazy, or are the old 80s jerseys for the Giants almost as good, if not better, than their actual jerseys? Like, I love these old-school helmets and these old-school uniforms. They look so freaking good. We're going right back to the well here, going to the same run play. I want to see how good we can run against this defense. So far, so freaking good. I am a big fan of this. Let's do a hurry-up into one of our favorite hurry-up plays, which is going to be the Verts with Evan Engram coming across. And they're leaving them wide open. And he held on to it, and he broke the tackle. Here we go, team. We are driving here, ladies and gentlemen. We are driving. Joe Nero, that high-powered New York football Giants offense. Ooh, tight end seams. Now, the thing about the tight end seams is it's going to be a bit more difficult because they have Malcolm Jenkins there in the secondary. Oh, they're dropping everyone back now. Okay. At first, they were really looking to stop the run, but then they're like, ah, maybe not. Let's send Shepard on a slant here. And Shepard. I mean, just looking at the defense, I thought Shepard would be open, and there he is. <laughs> and there he is, so we'll take that. I think maybe one of the reasons why I like the old-school Giants jersey so much is they have that same old-school feel to them that the old Browns jerseys did. I still think the Browns jerseys that they wore before the revamp were actually better than the ones they have now, which may be an unpopular opinion, but uh, I like the old-school jerseys, you know? I like it when teams rock them. Now, the Eagles, the jerseys they're rocking here look almost too old-school, but they look good at the same time, right? Um, hmm. The tight end attack here does not look terrible. So far, they haven't really been doing a whole lot of bump and run. They're actually playing back off our receivers. They're afraid of OBJ and that deep ball, which they should be. But, uh, and let's see here. And that's going to be a wide open tight end. Oh, the gym class hero tried for it. And he's still up. Keep going downfield there, buddy. Three of three, 42 yards. We're actually able to run the ball here as well. Saquon's actually having a lot more success this game than he has in uh, uh, recent games against the Eagles. Let's see. It's actually nice, man. When we get, when we can actually, you know, pick between run plays and pass plays. That's great. I mean, we have had success, you know, running or throwing the ball rather. In those games, we have to throw the ball like 30 or 40 times. But uh, those games are usually much closer than they should be, right? You look at the past couple of the recent games we've had. You know, we're doing well in the air, but we're not doing really well on the ground. And I would like to have a, a bit of a mix. And so far, this game, we're actually achieving that, which feels pretty good. But speaking of that, you have Shepard coming across. Why are my guys breaking so many tackles this game? This is actually absurd. Let's see. Go for the goes, maybe? I like the fullback out of the backfield here, but I want to see about one of my guys being in a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, no one is, but, oh, nope, picked. I thought that was going to be intercepted. I thought that was going to be intercepted for sure. All right, let's not fall apart here, guys. Let's not fall apart. This is the the part of the field where we always end up coming up short, and then we have to kick a field goal. We, we need touchdowns, guys. We need touchdowns. Uh, Shepard? I need you to ring an in, bud. An end that's crossing the line. That's what I need out of you. And he's going to be there after the bump and run. Ooh! Uh, I thought he'd be able to get up field, but apparently not. Hurry up, offense. Hurry up, offense. I'm not having that, boys. We're not coming up short like that after such a good drive. Fire that in. OBJ. That was a risky play. That was a super, 
Super risky play, but it worked. That's all that matters. Uh, let's go back to the run. Let's go back to the run. I wish Saquon Barkley could have actually gotten that first there, but we were close. We were close. All right, Barkley. So far, we've had some. We've had success running. Oh, look at him go! Look at him go! He's still up. Oh my goodness! It's actually absurd how much our guys are breaking tackles right now. All right, so the mid attack here is a really good play. I like it a lot. We had a fullback coming out of the backfield. Uh, worked for us in the past, so maybe that'll be there. But mostly, we're really looking for Ingram. Uh, not Ingram, so fullback. There you go. Lower your shoulder, man. You're like six foot something, like two hundred something pounds. Run over those guys. Come on. <laughs> Um, am I crazy or does the hitch corner look really good here? They're in zone coverage, so it's not going to be as good as we would hope. Let's have Gallup run in, but Engram's going to be there. If not, we're probably going to check down to the running back or Gallup. And Engram's there. <laughs> what an opening drive. Oh, oh, look at the, the ticker down there at the bottom. I mean, let's focus on the cool touchdown, but it looks like the Patriots beat the Dolphins. Very good play. Very good play. Now, defense can hold and keep that momentum going. Oh, and they did. But, yeah, see, Dolphins lost to the Patriots, which was kind of to be expected. Tannehill went 8 of 20 for 108 yards. And the whole game, that's 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 miserably bad. What, what happened? What happened? Tom Brady had 341 yards and a touchdown. But, uh, yeah, so it's looking like... Oh, by the way, um, I checked going into this game. Yeah, you guys can see right there. The Browns are facing the Texans. The Browns won their wild card game. Now that should be, you should be getting downfield there, right? There you go. Yeah, the Browns won their game. He's still, they didn't blow the whistle. And my center's hurt again. Is my center, is, has there been a game this season where my center started and did not finish injured? Like, <laughs> freaking seriously, dude. Like, what the heck? But yeah, the Browns won. Not only did they make the playoffs, they won their wild card game. And that's pretty freaking cool. Uh, they're really doing a, a pretty close bump around on OBJ here. You want to leave him in the one-on-one? -on -one? I dare you. I dare you. Uh, I can't not hit him there. Come on, Shepard. There are so many of those collision drops that, we, that we've that we seen this season. I wish we didn't have so many of those. Uh, let's go for a quick slant. So let's try and pick up a first down or make it a very manageable third and short. And then go back to the run game with Barkley. That's the plan. And dropping everybody back. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and then slide. That's pretty much the same as the slants play. It's, it's now a much more manageable third down like we were hoping for. What can we do? Ooh, the dig. Let's go out to the opposite side. So my running back's going to be coming out of the backfield. If he randomly does not get covered, he should pick up an easy first. But Shepard coming across is the main guy we're looking for, right? And running back's being covered. So it's going to be Shepard we're looking for. And there he is. There we go, Shepard. Very good job, dude. Very, very good job. We are 10 of 12. 93 yards and a touchdown. Ooh, the mesh. Game knows me too well. The game knows... Uh, we're throwing, we're potentially throwing a mesh to Gallup now. Calling this the opposite side. I don't want to throw a mesh to Gallup while he's being covered by Jenkins. But OBJ there, that might actually be there. And it is. And it is. No, dude. I wish I had more throw power. Like, that was there. There's no reason, like, I should have led him. Right? And I should have fired it in faster. He shouldn't have had time to be able to jump up in front of the ball like that, based on how he made his break. Maybe instead of firing it in, I should lob it up and have him get to it. Maybe that would work out better. Uh, we're going to OBJ here. He's going to take a hit, though. Yeah. It wasn't actually that big of a hit. And my right tackle's now hurt. So we've lost our center. We've lost our right tackle. And now we're in a pretty crucial situation here. On the, mid, on the midway point of the field. We need, we need, we need a first down here. Otherwise, we have to punt. We're not even close to field goal range. We're going to send Engram deep because randomly they like to leave our tight end open on plays like this. We're looking for OBJ or Engram, I think. And Engram was there, but OBJ is even more. Like, OBJ, that was like the safest play we could have possibly went with right there. That worked out pretty well. Um, do we try a halfback draw? No, it looks like they're really stuffing it, man. I just, you know, I want to call the, oh, guys, guys. They are sending pretty much everybody here, it looks like. Now they're dropping. Ah, they're dropping their guys back in coverage. I didn't have time. 
I didn't have time to get my guys open for an in route. I didn't have time for my guy on an in route to get open. They got through so quick right there. So I will say the offensive line's done a pretty good job, aside from that, um, of keeping me protected. So I can't be too mad, but still, it's frustrating, you know? Oh. Co co how do you drop that? It's in your hands. You're in the air. You dropped it for even to hit the ground. Ah, oh, that's painful, man. We're having so many little little things like that happening, which are basically ruining this whole drive. Now, Evan Ingram's going to be coming across. Barkley on the slant, like always. We're looking for Ingram mostly, but I would like to see potentially if OBJ's going to be there. Uh, Ingram. Come on. Where's my throw power? Why am I constantly throwing behind them? Man, that's frustrating. Now we have to punt, and they drive down the score. That's why it's so frustrating. That's, I'm going to be on tilt pretty much this entire game. I'm letting you guys know that right now. I'm going to be on tilt pretty much all the time. Because anytime we have one of those annoying drives like that where things don't work out, that means they're probably going to score. We're facing the Eagles here, right? We have to come away with points pretty much every single drive. We can't have drives like this where we're dropping the ball or not blocking, or anything like that. Like, we can't have these mistakes against the 15-1 and one Eagles. We can't. We're going to lose if we do. Oh, man. All right. And wide open. And Engram gets an easy first there. Not bad. Um, there's no sense doing a hurry up. That's going to take us into the two-minute warning, which is okay. Which is okay. But we need to come away with points every drive here, man. I mean, best case scenario, we slowly but surely, methodically, drive down and score a touchdown as time expires in the first half. That's the ideal way to go because that keeps the ball out of their hands, right? We don't want them getting the ball and potentially scoring again before the half. We want to go into the half with a one-touchdown lead. That's the goal, all right? That's the objective here. And I think OBJ is going to be there. It's got to wait for it. There he is. Good catch. Very good catch, sir. Very good catch. And they're actually, uh, they're not looking at all to call timeouts or anything. They're, they're basically letting us control the clock right now. Uh, we're going to go for a dive. We're going to try and implement some more runs here, have more balanced attack, and just chew the clock as much as we can. Because I feel like they might start using their timeouts soon. Um, I might be wrong about that, actually, but we're going to see. And up the field you go. There, oh, come on. And an injury to one of them. Okay, injury timeout. Uh, Bradham... I'm not sure who that is. I think it's one of their defensive linemen. Although I might be slightly off on that. Let's go for the verts. And then, of course, have Evan Ingram doing his in. And let's uh, let's make it sure it's a deep in. Let's make sure it's uh, crossing the line of scrimmage. And actually, let's send Gallup on a slant even potentially as well. And Gallup! Hold on to it. Good job, buddy. That should be a first. That should be a first. And yeah, it is. Okay, now let's go for a dive. I mean, we are chewing up a lot of clock right now, but that's exactly what we need to be doing, right? We're going to run this to the left. Hold your blocks. And it should be easy run. All right. You need to take that to the outside next time, Barkley. You need to take that to the outside. I mean, the hole was there. It was there, but... All right, same idea. We just ran a couple of plays ago. And slant. Ooh. And he drops it. Come on, guys. Like, we're not in the playoffs right now. Like, we're not in the playoffs right now, you know? It's like, please, you're going to take hits. It's football, right? Um, we're going to go for the wide receiver drive. Uh, if nothing else, this should be good for some relatively short yards, which will put us in a position for maybe a field goal, depending. We're going to have to see. Going to have to see. And Ingram. And now we are going to use the timeout. Just to uh, kind of keep things nice and relaxed here. But we are on the 18-yard line. Again, we have to. they're saving all their timeouts because they're hoping they're going to get the ball back before the half. We can't let that happen, though. Well, I mean, they're probably I – mean, even if we score, they might get the ball back eventually. But, um, yeah, we, we need to make sure they get the ball with, with as little time as humanly possible. So they can't put up a score. Barkley, dude, just run! Just run! Oh, my God. Why are you doing spins? Oh, that is frustrating, dude. <laughs> that should have been the easiest first down ever. <sighs> uh, all right. Potentially OBJ here on the corner. Or on the post, rather. But let's see. No, not going to be him. We're going to go. Hold on to it. 
There you go. Good job, dude. And call one of our timeouts here. We're on the six yard line. We are on the six yard line. All right, we need points. What can we do? Six yards. I mean, come on. How, how easy is six yards? How many times have we gotten six yards before? I mean, countless, right? Tight end attack looks good, but we only have really one option there. Um, we're going to go mid attack. The mid attack's good because we got the fullback coming out of the backfield. We, of course, have Engram on the post. Um, OBJ potential on the out, although I'm not super confident in my throw power to throw an out route. Uh, we'll see. And that's going to be the fullback. Come on. There you go. I love that play. I'm starting to really love that play, man. That's exactly what we needed. And how much time do they have? We're going to make this go slow <laughs> so we can see the entire thing. They have two timeouts and 20 seconds. They better not score here. All right, so let's watch. We get the extra point. Good, good, good. Go for the kickoff. All right, touchback as always. I miss kickoff returns. And they're just going to run off the clock. Okay, perfect. And now we have the ball here to start the second half. All right, guys. We have the lead against the Eagles. If we can get a touchdown here... That would be freaking huge. <laughs> huge, some might say. It'd be big. It'd be very, very, very big. All right, Barkley. There you go. Very good run blocking so far here, guys. I mean, eight carries, 42 yards. We should really just, you know, start feeding Barkley the ball more. It's very easy for me, especially because we've had so much success in the latter half of the season since Saquon Barkley's injury of throwing the ball. It's very easy for me to just want to, why am I sneaking up the offensive line? <laughs> It's easy for me to just want to throw the ball constantly. But we've got Barkley here, and he, he's actually having success. He's getting about, he's getting over 4.5 yards per carry. You know, when that's happening, we need to run the football. Uh, we need to keep feeding him the ball. And then going back to the passing plays that we know for a fact are going to work. I'm not taking any risks this game, man. <laughs> we're going to play small ball. Uh, Engram, we're going to send you deep just in case they want to leave you open. And they do. I love that play, man. I love, not, not necessarily that play, but that route, rather. I love that route. Six catches, 92 yards for the man himself. Um, I don't even want to try a counter. You can't even risk it going for counters, man. You have to go for, like, the dives and everything. You got to keep going north-south. Because Saquon Barkley already has enough difficulty freaking going north-south. There you go, bud. There you go. There, bro. Oh, dude. If he, imagine right there if he just stiff arms Jenkins into the ground and it just runs for the touchdown. How insane would that have been? That would have been so cool, dude. Um, the split end corner. I kind of like the idea of it. Let's see. I mean, OBJ is being covered. Yeah, let's not force it or anything. Let's just send Engram straight up deep here, actually. And... Pff, Get upfield. Don't go out of bounds, bud. Break that tackle. Aw, oh, dude, lower your shoulder. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll take it, though. I'll take it. Let's go do a hurry up, though. Um, actually, maybe a hurry up is a bad idea here. Let's do it, let's do it levels. Uh, this is basically everybody and their mother running an in route. And we're going to see if anyone wants to be there. Nope, 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 nope. Dude, I tried scrambling. Then he busted outside. Then I tried going forward, but I, like, bumped into my alignment, so I couldn't. Oh, that's frustrating. That's okay. It's okay. Second and goal from the 16. Um, we can see about OBJ here on the corner. Maybe Shepard coming across. Uh, Shepard. Now run, bud. There you go. Now it's a much more manageable third and goal from the 10. But we still have 10 yards between us and pay dirt. And the question is, do we, do we go for it if we don't succeed? Or do we? I think we take the field goal if we don't get it. Um, just making it a two-score lead seems like a pretty important aspect of the game, right? OBJ in the bump and run might be there, and he's there. <laughs> don't leave him in the one-on-one. -on -one. Actually, do please leave him in the one-on-one -on -one as much as you can. <laughs> What a drive, guys. What a throw. What a catch. What defense, even. But still, he just didn't have enough help. Man. This is actually insane. Come on, D. If defense holds here and we get the ball back, I might guarantee the win. I might. We have to speed it up here, but... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Not only did they hold, but they got a turnover of some sort. 
And we have the ball on their 34. If we get a field goal, dude, we only need a touchdown. If we get a field goal, we'll be up by 17. And that'd be huge. Like, we could basically just punt from there on out and probably still win. Because they just won't have enough time to get as many points as they need. And my left tackle's hurt. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. It's okay, Nate. Gosh, man. My linemen just get battered. They really do. And I know we're in the playoffs here, and it's kind of dumb to be thinking too much about the offseason. But, um, you know, when you think about the draft, you kind of like you kind of want them to get like a new cool receiver or something like that for you, right? But here's the thing. With the, with the Giants here, I like my tight ends, starter and backup. I like my first four, maybe even five receivers. I like my running backs. I hope we draft offensive linemen. <laughs> I hope we draft really good linemen. That's all I really want for my offense right now, man. Fire that in. And, dude, they think they think that works against me. I mean, whenever they, they, they show a heavy blitz like that to stop the run, I exploit that every time. I mean, I'll throw Devin Ingram all the time, man. I am not afraid. All right, Barkley. You only have two fumbles on the season. Now is not the time to get your third. Just letting you know. Now is not the time to get your third. Let's go for the verts, and we're going to see. Um, how about OBJ coming in, actually? And... Ooh, under pressure. Very good blocking. Not a lot of open receivers. Um, Let's see. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let's go to the community. Community usually has some good plays. Ooh, they want to go for maybe the mid-attack again. That may actually be there. But then again, the flanker drive works out so much for us. Let's go for the Y go. Let's go for the Y go. That'd be Engram going down the middle. And if he's not there, we can we can scramble to the right. And see about hitting Shepard. Uh, nowhere, dude. Nowhere to go. And they got right through. But we're still in field goal range. We are still in field goal range. I'm putting this to normal because I want to watch it. You better make this. It's good. 46 yards. And now we can change the speed to fast. And hey. <laughs> I think we're going to win. What has happened to the Eagles? I mean, it's very early. I, I shouldn't get too ahead of myself. It's still pretty early. But what's happening to the Eagles, man? They won 15 straight games. They're leading the league in pretty much everything. They had a first-round bye and home field advantage here in the playoffs, but maybe that first-round bye screwed them. Maybe they're a bit rusty right now. I don't know. I'm looking for Hewitt to actually come out of the backfield here. Maybe Ingram on the, uh, on the out, but... Uh, my fullback is being heavily covered. They heavily covered my fullback there. Okay. All right. Now I'm playing stupid, though. I feel like I'm playing too passively right now. I think I'm thinking to myself, you know what? We've already kind of got this one. Let's take it nice and slow and not really force anything. But, you know, sometimes you have to force things. And speaking of forcing things, I believe they're about to leave either either Engram or Shepard about to be very open, I feel like. And it's going to be Engram. Oh, he held on to it. He held on to that. What a catch! I love I love those jump balls, man. Reminds me of uh, Antonio Gates. And I just you know, when I, when I first started getting the football way back when, you had like Antonio Gates and Algie Crumpler and um, Jeremy Shockey. Oh, Jeremy Shockey, that's a blast from the past. And you know, all these really good tight ends. And Engram's just as good, man. That's what I love. That's what I love about him. It's so good. Speaking of Engram, uh, they're gonna show his stats. I would hope here. There are my stats. I have 34 pass attempts, but Engram, nine catches, a buck 28, dude. Like, come on. And here we go, guys. Here we go into the fourth quarter with that lead. We came close to beating them twice this season, but close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Right? We didn't win either one of those games, but now we are up 24-7 to start the fourth quarter with the ball in their territory. Come on, Barkley. I think uh, an unsung hero here in this game as well has actually been Saquon Barkley and I suppose the entire offensive line, despite the injuries. I mean, we have our backup center and our backup right tackle and our backup left tackle in right now. Something to bear in mind. Um, but yeah, the blocking has actually been pretty good. And we've been, we've been doing a pretty good job of uh, having a relatively mixed attack. You would think because I have so many passing attempts that we're only throwing the ball. But, I mean, Barkley, he's getting his carries here, man. He really is. And, ooh, and he's not going down either. He's got 16 carries, 85 yards. And right here, guys, I can smell the touchdown. I can smell the touchdown pass to Ingram right here. 
You guys think, oh, no, dude, I did it again. I did it again. That's like the fourth or fifth time this season that's happened. So, if you press, for some reason, I don't even think it's under the control options, but if you press the left bumper as soon as you snap the ball, you basically go, like, you give up on the pass entirely, and you go right to start running. The reason why I pressed the bumper is he was wide open. I wanted to lob it up to him. Ah, that's frustrating, man. Speaking of that, though. Okay. I guess we'll take the field goal. But, I mean, the field goal is fine. It gives us a 20-point lead. And the defense held again. I was going to say that still means they can come back with three touchdowns. But they're not going to get their three touchdowns. I'm telling you guys right now, this game's over. We've already won. The game is 110% over right now because there's no way, with how much time there is left in this game, there is no way the Eagles can come back. Their rush defense is 7th in the league, and they've allowed all these yards. Oh, feels good, man. Feels freaking good. We finally got redemption. Uh, I... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to call this. We finally got redemption against the Philadelphia Eagles, and what a time to do it. Fire that in. What a time to do it. The Vision Championship in Philadelphia. One and done, boys. One and done. And they only got... So I said at the beginning of the game, too, the key to this is going to be whether or not the defense can keep their offense in check. And the reason why I said that is because the Eagles have a pretty good offense, obviously. Our defense is very mediocre. And if it got to the point where, you know, they were putting up touchdown after touchdown after touchdown after touchdown on us, the, the, I'm getting hiccups here, then I would have had to have um, thrown the ball constantly, right? More so than we have been right now. Which means we, we would have had to abandon the run game. We would have had to have done a lot of things. And it would have gotten to a point where we it'd be a really stressful game where I'm constantly throwing and forcing passes I don't want to. And we couldn't be relaxed with it, right? And so not only did the defense decide to hold their offense, but they held them to seven points the entire freaking game. And we're not playing smart right now, by the way. We need to play smarter. Um, and playing smart, despite the fact that we're, we're already up by 20, is letting this go down, the play clock that is, as long as possible. Burn as much clock as possible, boys. And then... Look how fast he got back up right there, too. <laughs> Ellison, man. They love leaving tight ends open in the middle of the field here on the all Man difficulty. I'm telling you guys. Um, so what do we do? Um, actually, I'll, I'll tell you what we do. We play really smart, and we run the football. Right? We, we've done this before. We just run the football. And force them to use all their timeouts, and then either boot a field goal or score a touchdown, depending. No! There's that all bad difficulty we all know and love so much. And there's Saquon Barkley's third fumble of the season. Of course, counting the playoffs. Oh, no. I mean, it's fine. We're probably still good. Let's send this to normal speed. We're probably still fine. They're running with Darren Sproles. They not realize what they've run twice now with Darren Sproles. They ran three times in a row with Darren Sproles and then punted. They gave up. They gave up. In the playoffs. Wait, no. They lost the ball somehow with a fumble or an interception or something because we have the ball right here. Why am I throwing? Why am I throwing? It doesn't matter. Oh, come on. Come on. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter right now, but what happened? That's a really anticlimactic way for, for us to win the game there. I thought they'd at least go down swinging. Apparently not. All right, Barkley. We got to get you your confidence back. Break that, bud. 19 carries. 112 yards. Or 112. 102 yards. Um, they're definitely going to try and stop the run here. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Take that, Philly! There's going to be riots. You thought there were riots when they won the Super Bowl. You wait till after that, after this game, where they get blown out. Blown out by the Giants. 
<laughs> I can't believe this actually happened. All right, there's the extra point. 34 to 7. How? Now let's watch as they run the ball again. Oh, now they're throwing. <laughs> what the heck, man? What the heck? Oh, feels good. I think they punted. Because we have the ball here on the 30. They're, they just gave up. Even though it's the divisional round of the playoffs, they're like, screw it, it's over. I shouldn't even be running this play. We should not be running this play. That's a good way to end. That's a good, that's a good way, way to run. 20 carries uh, for Saquon Barkley. Over 100 yards. I'll take that. And now, boys, we're going to go victory formation. Um, oh, come on. Uh, we have to call it ourselves, I guess. It's under special team, right? Yeah. Special team, QB Neil. Ah, uh, boys. So the winner, well, I guess us, I only have to say the winner, we are going to be facing the winner of the Saints slash Falcons game. And whoever wins between the Texans and the Browns of all teams, I hope the Browns make it to the Super Bowl. What if we face the Browns in the Super Bowl? That'd be insane. But um, yeah, whoever wins that's going to take on the Patriots. And the Patriots do have home field advantage. The Eagles did have home field advantage until they just lost it. <laughs> they lost their first game of the season, and then they won 15 straight, and then they lost their last game of the season. <laughs> oh my goodness. They only had one take. We only had one takeaway. Their offense just did literally nothing. How? Were they injured? We have to see the stats here, man. It makes no sense. Carson Wentz, what happened, dude? What possibly happened? Good night, everybody. <laughs> All right, let's see, boys. Let's see. 11th of 17. That's just like what happened in the game with the... We saw the stats earlier in the game with the um, Dolphins and the Patriots where Tannehill had, like, under 10 completions on the entire game. How? 11 of 17, buck 22, touchdown and a pick. Jay Ajayi got hurt. Jay Ajayi got hurt, and they had to put in Darren Sproles. I mean, that hurt their offense quite a bit because he got less than three yards per carry. Okay, that was starting to make a little bit more sense, and Darren Sproles was their number one receiver. They barely threw to anybody else. <laughs> I'll take it. I, I ain't mad. I'm just, I'm just confused is all. 28 K uh, completions out of, uh, uh, we went 28 of 39, 290 yards, four touchdowns, 70% completion percentage. Saquon Barkley, 20 carries, buck 07, and that, and that fumble. No, let's not forget that. Two for 12 for Jonathan Seward, two for five for me. One of those, of course, being a kneel. And then OBJ, who is relatively quiet today, five catches, 44 yards and a touchdown, seven for 54 and a touchdown for Sterling Shepard, um, 10 for a buck 31. Evan Engram, man, the real MVP. And by the way, yeah, yeah, <laughs> wait a minute. Let's see. So that's seven dropped passes that game out of my 11 incompletions. <laughs> wow. We had a lot of drops. A lot of drops, but uh, it doesn't matter. Ellison there, one for 22 off that one wonderful uh, play he had. Uh, Barkley come out of the backfield there, two for 17. Uh, Hewitt. Oh, man. Or Hewitt. Or Hewitt. Oh. Either way, um, I like that play a lot with him coming out of the backfield. We're going to run that a lot more, I think. Um, and then Gallup there, one for eight. So good. So freaking good. And then on defense, we had two sacks and Ellie out. E e Ellie. Eli Apple had that interception, man. Feels freaking good. I can't believe it. What a storybook freaking season this has been. But now we are going to be going into the conference championship in Joe Nero slash Saquon Barkley's first ever season with the Giants. We're going to be facing either the Saints or the Falcons. Oh, no. Well, this is a bit of a story, guys. So, actually, I'd have to go back and look. I, you know what? Screw it. We're, I, I'm already here. You guys are right. You know, whatever. We're going to open up my video manager on YouTube. I'm going to have to scroll back because I can't quite remember how those games played out. I do know for a fact that our first ever loss was against Drew Brees in New Orleans. Right? That was a thing that ended up happening. 
And then the Falcons, we also ended up playing, uh, and we played in their stadium. And honestly, I can't for the life of me remember if we won or lost that game. It's been so long. So I'm skipping ahead in the video right now. And we won that game. Okay. So I'm hoping we face the Falcons because we, we've already beaten them, right? Um, we lost to the Saints early this season. That was my first ever loss. So, yeah, kind of rooting for the Falcons here, if I'm being entirely honest. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this episode of the Madden NFL 19 playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please drop me a rating. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.